Hey guys, welcome back again to another Zeal Cigar Review. My name is Bradley, I'm here with Know It All JB, and today we're talking about one of the hottest boutique cigars on the market and a newer release from them that we haven't smoked yet. All next on the Zeal Cigar Review. Bro, I gotta say something. Go ahead. This dude's marketing is like... It's on point. For, for the current generation and it's, like what you see on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah. Their marketing's legit. Jonas Santana is the owner of Blackbird Cigars. He's, I and see him everywhere, bro. He's so he's all over TikTok, all over Instagram. He does he's a he's a rap artist. He does a bunch of other things. Absolutely love Joe and I. Stopped in the shop the other day and he's like, "You have to try my new Nest cigar." Today we're gonna be smoking the Nest by Blackbird Cigar. This is their affordable kind of a mix filler, a Cuban steak. sandwich, yeah, yeah. Cuban sandwich, and uh, it's got a nice little band on it. It actually looks very very good. I smoked one. A while back, the one that you're smoking here. Yeah, we swapped this time. I'm smoking Maduro this time to let you know what the Maduro tastes like. Uh, but we had these cigars before. We love these cigars. This little pack they have. So good. Absolutely amazing. Every single one of their cigars are in this pack. You got the Connecticut. You got the, I don't remember Finch, what everything, yeah. the Finch. Well, and, they're, and they're lined from like smoking so it's it's supposed to go with the sun right yeah, so yeah. You, you start your day down here and then as you go progress through the yeah, day i can't you remember all the can't remember all the names and everything else like that but it is really good you probably had these before if it's you haven't maybe. you definitely want to try them out but before we smoke these cigars you know what we gotta do we got a podcast about it we gotta cut light and smoke all right dude these are the six by sixties i'm very excited for that I can't wait to smoke. I like the size personally, and I had that cigar that cigar was fantastic the Connecticut yeah, yeah I really it's a it's a bono actually Huh? It's Albano. It says Connecticut. Oh, it's a Connecticut? Yeah. Sorry. It's a Connecticut. I got to change that. <laughs> I got to change what I said. So we're smoking the Connecticut and the Maduro version of the Nest. So well, let's get into it and see what we think. Careful. Don't uh, don't light your scarf on fire. It's not a scarf. It's an ascot. Is it an ascot, though? No. It's a scarf. Is that pretty Whoa. I remember that. that Dude, was... at the jump, this is good. <laughs> At the jump. Okay. Do you remember specifically what I said as far as like what other bundle stick that I thought that compared to? No. I don't. The Vigilante. Oh, the Vigilante by Esteban Carrera. Yeah. Okay. This is really, I don't know, dude. I think this is probably a shade better to me. That's what I you. said. It's a shade better. It really is good. Yeah, for a Cuban sandwich, it actually looks good. It Can't tastes it. really good. It's very, very good. Well, like Big Cigar one. reminds me of a... Uh, a uh, a good big man that we just lost in our family. In fact, uh, today, my uh, earlier this, this morning, my uncle passed away, Uncle Orville. You know, a lot of great memories with Uncle Orville and everything else like that. And uh, it reminds me. I mean, it just it just reminds me. He's, he's a big dude. I mean, he's got to be like six four, six five, big guy, and uh, all his life and everything like that. And uh, the oldest child, my mom's family. Okay. Yeah, oldest child, of my mom's family. So. Great memories, Uncle Orville. Uh, to my cousins Kim and Doug, praying for your family it's, right it's now. Uh, There's something about big cigars that just feel right, you know. Especially, especially if you're a, you have a, you're a bigger guy, you got a big hand, that kind of thing. So I, I enjoy bigger cigars. Do you guys like bigger cigars? Tell me your favorite cigar size and drop a comment below because we'd love to hear what you think about the 660s. And have you had a have you had a budget 660 that really blew you away? like this nest if you had the nest yet from blackbird cigars we'd love to hear your comments below so comment down below it's it's kind of crazy because we were talking about like their marketing mm -hmm. and like how crazy their stuff is and how he stays pretty like hip to things like that you know yeah. and pretty catchy i haven't i haven't seen these marketed i did not see these until i came I, in the day and and uh you were like dude new cigar by blackbird and i was like what what's up i have seen a little bit of them uh here and there people have said that you know it's a, it's a really great budget stick uh, great flavor. I absolutely agree with that. Great flavor. Great burn. You know, for a budget stick, it's a great wrapper on here. It tastes really good. The the Connecticut's very light. It's very light. Um, if you if you're somebody that smokes a lot of cigars a day, um, just like throughout your day, maybe you're out working a field or you're just driving around a lot or a truck driver, this would be one that um, you could smoke multiples of, and it wouldn't it wouldn't thrash your mouth. It wouldn't, you know. It's very light, very light, creamy, airy. I'd say the most the the over overall pronounced note on this is chocolate coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very chocolatey, very coffee esque. Very very good on the retro hail. Very sweet on the retro hail. A very smokable. A very I mean to be honest, not peppery at all. I'd say the pepper on this is maybe a two or three, if that. What's it on there? One, mm. if that. It's 
almost non-existent. Yeah, it's a very good cigar. You know, for what it is, being the Cuban sandwich and the short filler and long filler together in there, it's a very good cigar. Very uh, good budget cigar. How's your, how's your draw? This one's pretty easy. It's a little tight, not bad. Yours is a little tight? Yeah, a little tight, not bad. But uh, I like that on a, on a 660 in particular, because a lot of 660s are very, very easy draws. And I really don't like a super easy draw on a cigar. I like it to be just a little bit tighter. And so this is a, this is a, just a, a hint tighter than like, you know, say a Padron or, or Davidoff or something like that. But it's very, very smokable. Not something that you'd think would be, you know, too hard to smoke or what have you. It's very, very good. Yeah, easy, easy, easily in every day, anytime smoke. That yeah. one, that one, would you say anytime even? I'd say at night. Midday to I'd evening. Say, yeah, I'd say midday to evening. I probably wouldn't smoke this in the morning. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a different time in Phoenix the last uh, couple of days. The weekend was really rainy. We didn't do anything. We stayed in and stayed Ooh, in and just, It was you know, gross. Watched football. Yeah, that's all we did, you know. So let's, let's, let's talk about this for a little bit. Give us a chance to talk through the NFL and the college football season and everything else like that. So let's, let's give you our, our, our ideas and our choices. So the college football playoffs have been chosen. Okay, yep, so we yep. have... We have Michigan versus TCU. Yep. And we have Ohio State versus Georgia. It's gonna be a hard one, bro. Like the Michigan game hurt, but like Georgia's Georgia looks good. First off, I can't believe we lost to Michigan. I'm very disappointed. Almost, in the the, it was almost, dude. It was like, it was like Last Groundhog year Day, bro. Last year, dude. You can't tell me Ryan Day didn't wake up, pinch himself, and then call Bill Murray and say, Bill Murray, are we in Groundhog Day? And Bill Murray's like, no, how'd you get my number, you psycho? Well, Bill Murray is one of the best actors in history, and Groundhog Day is probably one of the best shows you could ever reference that I would actually know what you're talking about. Was Bill Murray in that? Groundhog Day? Are you serious? Stop playing. Here's the real deal, Holyfield. I believe that Georgia's going to come on top, and they're going to beat everybody. Okay. I believe Michigan will beat TCU, no problem. Really? And I believe that okay. I believe that Georgia's going to beat Ohio State, no problem. They'll beat Michigan, no problem. Okay. And so as a result of that, Georgia wins. That's my prediction. Uh, I love. I'm, I'm, I'm a hometown for the guy. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm a hometown guy. I'm a homer all, all the way. But I'm also a realist. Let, it's like the Cardinals are going to, you know, make the you, playoffs and actually win the Super Bowl. You want to no hear my way. conspiracy theory? Give me the conspiracy theory. Big Ten needs money because they're paying out a lot of money for a couple schools to come there next year. That's a conspiracy. I think Michigan makes it. I think Michigan makes it to the final. No way. Oh well, I mean, I think it's gonna be Michigan and uh, Michigan and Georgia. And Georgia. Yeah, and I think that's gonna be that, that's gonna you be the final. You think Georgia? Yeah, Georgia kills Michigan. You think? Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. Yeah, that that's a fact. That just so you understand something, how I tell you this plays out is exactly how it's gonna play out. If you don't believe me, go look in the comments and debate me there. Georgia is gonna win. It just will. I know my buddy Stu is hearing this and watching this. He knows it. He's a big Georgia Bulldog fan. Georgia walks away with it. It's just what it is. They're they're the new Alabama. It's what it is. You know, I haven't okay. seen them play one game this year. You are, yeah. I haven't seen Georgia play like physic. Like I personally haven't seen them play a game this year. I don't know why. I just I've I don't watched. Know if I've never been home or what. But yeah, I don't, it's on I don't, Saturday. It's on I don't Saturday. Know anything about them? Yeah, Saturday you shot riding or something like that. But I've seen. I've caught several other games. A good looking team, man. I've heard good they look team. good. I and not to take don't know. anything away from TCU. I mean, TCU's quarterback is just an amazing quarterback. Yeah, that dude, I mean, Heisman dude, that Trophy dude was candidate. bleeding, dude, in that K-State game. He yeah, had Kansas, blood from his arm, his leg. I can't believe Kansas won. I can't believe Kansas State won. Dude. I was super impressed with that. If you're a football fan and you're a college football fan, it will play out exactly how I told you it will play out. You can bet on that. Now, let's go to the, let's go to the NFL. Let's just, let's just be honest about it real quick. There are a few teams that are really hurting and are not going to make it. One of those teams happens to have a stadium in our state in Glendale, and that would be the Arizona Cardinals. What do you, what do you want to say about the Arizona Cardinals? Go ahead and talk about it. It's not your team Hold necessarily. On. Hold on. This is Go what ahead. I see. Okay. I see Kyler Murray playing second base for the A's blowing bubbles. If Kyler Murray makes it through another two years, I'll be super impressed. There's no way he makes it another two years here. It just isn't. I don't. I still, Unless now, here's I my thing. I still don't think it's his problem here's all my, the way. Okay. I think Cliff doesn't get respect like he needs. No, from no. Here, the team. Here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. That might be true. Here's my thing. As a young man, if you don't humble yourself and become a team player, which he obviously is not. Okay, that's one thing that we according know about him. According to Pat him. P. According to everybody out there. Okay, according to most people, he's not really a team guy. Unless you humble yourself, and become a team guy, and there have been quarterbacks that have changed and done that. The team won't go anywhere because they won't follow you. 
All right, they won't follow you. If you're not a team guy, if you're not a leader of men, not a team player, men won't follow you. We just know that. And the NFL is full of real men, okay? It just really is. And millionaires, by the way. Millionaires definitely won't follow you if that's the case. So that's the thing I'm wondering. Can he humble hmm. himself? Can he put down the video game controller? Can he, can he do some things that we need him to do as far as, you know, Here, Arizona's here's, concerned? Here's so, the other thing. And by the way, real quick, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get oh, really no. quick onto you homers right here. I think I have no right to criticize Kyler Murray or anything else like that because I'm an Arizona Cardinal fan. I have every right because I am a fan. You can question, you can question the coach, you can question your players, you can question why certain people didn't make certain plays. You can question it. That's what you do as a well, fan. Especially if you're a Green Bay fan, because oh. you probably own part of the team. Mm. <laughs> Green Bay's fan owned. Oh, it the is. People, yeah. So like 100%. could you imagine being a part owner of the Packers right now? Yeah. Just like yeah, losing your that. freaking mind this year. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers didn't do too good. Aaron Rodgers gonna, he's gonna retire after this year too, or be traded somewhere. I don't know. The San Francisco pick up uh, Baker Mayfield. Baker. Yeah, Baker's kind of interesting. So we'll we'll see what happens with that because uh, Jimmy G went down. So Jimmy G's out now. So we don't know what's gonna happen there either. So that's a that's a big thing. I don't know what. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I think who makes but my Bengals are okay, man. My Bengals are my Bengals are good. So they're the, they're, the, they're the hope for my NFL season, again, again, are the Bengals. Yeah, I can't believe I'm actually saying that. As a lifeline ba- lifelong Cincinnati fan, I can't believe that the Bengals, even though they're number two now because I'm in Arizona, okay, my backup team, the Bengals, they're killing it. They crushed, uh, I didn't crush them, but they, they beat uh, Kansas, City. Kansas City last night. Yeah, it was, it was great. You see what Patrick Mahomes' uh, wife tweeted out? Uh-uh. We can't catch a break. We can't catch it referring to the refs. And how bad she thought the refs were oh, during that game? I didn't see it. Don't know. I'm sorry, dude. My team plays you're tonight. A kid, you're a kid. You're a Kansas City fan. You know, you know what she's talking about. There are some plays that were semi questionable, questionable, but they're questionable in every game, man. Every game well, has it's a, like every game has every play has holding on it. Every yeah, it's yeah, it's like you said. Like, yeah, it's just, they, they give them so many more. So, so who do you think makes the Super Bowl this year? I'm gonna say the Bengals for sure. For the AFC, <laughs> AFC, I'm gonna say the Bengals. NFC, who do you think? Yes, could, they beat dude, the Bills. Dude, it could be Dallas, bro. Still them boys. It could Still them boys. Dak's running Still the number them. one offense right now, and they've been one of the best defenses on, in the league. It could end up Wouldn't being Dallas. Wouldn't that be amazing if it was Dallas and Cincinnati? It Wouldn't that be great? could be Dallas, bro. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and predict this again. So this is my prediction for the Super Bowl. It's going to be the Bengals, not the Bills, sorry, not Kansas City. They'll both be gone. The Bengals, okay, again, because Joe Burrow's on fire. Jamar Chase is back. T. Higgs is incredible. All right, so you have the Bengals there. You got some of the Ohio boys like Elliott that came from Ohio State with Dak, who's killing it. There's a lot right? of Ohio State players. Oh on yeah, hundred percent. So I think it's gonna be the I think it's gonna be the, the Bengals and the Cowboys. Bengals and Cowboys Super Bowl 2023. Give me your predictions below on the college football playoffs and who's gonna ultimately be the champion. And give me your predictions below right now. Since we're mostly halfway through the season, actually a little bit more than halfway through the season. With the NFL, on who you think is going to make Super Bowl? Who do you think makes Super Bowl? Go. I think on that side, it's probably it's got. I hope it's Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. I mean, realistically, it's looking at the. I mean, it could be Baltimore, but they. But Jamar, they're more Jamar, suspect. Jamar, they're more suspect now than Cincinnati uh, was at the beginning of the season. Yeah, Lamar Jackson just went down. I know. Yeah, that's so rough. that's the hard part. Yeah. And he did it after he didn't sign that contract. That's Baltimore, dude. They don't pay anybody ever. They just don't. Okay, so that's the AFC. What about the NFC? Who do you think is going to be there? I really think it might be Dallas. I hate saying that, but I think it might be Dallas. So we both agreed that the NFC is going to be Dallas. Who do you guys think is going to be there between the Baltimore Ravens or the Cincinnati Bengals? Drop a comment below and let us know. Or the Eagles, bro. Oh, yeah, the Eagles. That's right. Are you forgetting about the Eagles yeah, or the, the Bills? Oh, the, come on, the man. Eagles, Eagles could be a problem. Eagles could be a problem for Dallas, but I don't know. Dallas plays them well. They play him well, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, Eagle fan, they're all going to light up the, the comments now because I completely forgot about the Eagles. Fight, so. Eagles, fight. Uh, anyways, all that said, drop your comments below on where you think the football season is going to end. And it's going to be great when we come back here and see what kind of fools we are or how brilliant we were when we see it. But I'll tell you something that is brilliant, a cigar this cheap and this good. That is brilliant. So how's your cigar t- turning out for you? It's not as flavorful Mm -hmm. as i would like it to be but it's not an off-putting connecticut either i'm actually enjoying it but it's very light it's very airy there's not a lot of um it's not going to change much okay um but it's good 
It's really good. So this cigar is absolutely great. <laughs> it really, really is a good cigar. It very, I can't believe it's a budget cigar. It's very, very good 6x60. Very chocolatey, very coffee-esque flavors to it. Uh, a little bit of sweet, like, sweet cocoa through your nasal cavity on the retrohale. Uh, draws good. Presentation is good. Everything about the cigar is very, very good. I can't believe it's a budget cigar. It actually is very, very good. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what he's doing down there in the DR, but uh, he's he's blending some good cigars. There's only there's still one I haven't mm. tried from him though. Mm. What's that? I still haven't tried the McCall. I heard the McCall was pretty good. I heard it was very good. Yeah, yeah. I still so need to try. Maybe that. we'll get a chance of that. So, have you had any of Blackbird cigars? Drop a comment below and let us know what you think about them. Particularly if you've had the Nest Maduro or the Nest Connecticut. Drop a comment below and let us know about those. And with that said, guys, we're getting back to work, so we're out of here like last year. Peace.